human rights education is directed towards transformation. Uh, it's about a new mindset, uh, a new perspective, a different way of looking at things and therefore a different way of acting. It's designed not only to inform people and ensure that their, their knowledge is greater, uh, but also to ensure that their actions are different and their thinking is different. Uh, human rights education is a really powerful tool that we have that contributes to the realisation of human rights throughout the world. Its effectiveness is based on the fact that it can be used in many, many different ways in all places, in public and private sectors, with all ages, all genders, all races. It's all-encompassing, but it's really focused on using human rights as a tool for people to make change. If people are aware of their rights, they will come forward to redress their grievances. If they are not aware, they may not come at all. So education, human rights education is very important. And under the, our act also, it is our uh, duty to disseminate the knowledge uh, related to human rights uh, protection and promotion. So tr a transformative education approach seeks to uh, put the power into communities but using human rights as a way to advocate for change and advocate change in their own lives but also in society at large. Since I am assigned in the BRAC program for 20 years now, so I've been into different barangays in the Philippines and every time they hear the word human rights, oh is there such a thing as human rights? And then later on uh, they realize that there are rights that uh, been, have been violated and there are rights that they really need to be recognized. And it's so satisfying. Under the Paris Principles, national human rights institutions have very broad mandates. Um, most institutions, and certainly all of those in the Asia Pacific region, have as a major part of their work the handling of complaints and conducting investigations. But we can't be content just with investigating the past. We have to build a different sort of society in the future. And that's what human rights education is intended to do. Um, it is about ending violations, preventing violations, and building societies that are respectful of human rights. Sometimes you think that there's no impact, but in some incidents it was very remarkable that one of the high rank officials told me you know, this uh, trainer from your uh, commission, every time I wanted to, do, uh, to, to use torture, I would refrain from that because I remember what he was telling me. So I want to be optimistic that we can really make change and that definitely these trainings and capacity building for uh, security agencies and government officials on issues of uh, combating torture and so on are very important. To me, Human rights stands really very much important in a country like Afghanistan. We have lived for years and years with discrimination, with the poverty and with the oppression. Today, people are sensitized about the poverty, the oppression and discrimination. Civil societies and medias have, have understood that they have to lobby, campaign, and stand against this discrimination. So, I mean, it is very, very important. It is like a light, like a torch into the hand of, you know, every individual citizens. So, altogether, the human rights education can help us remain human regarding the minimum standards as it is in the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights and to the International Convention of civil and political rights, international convention of economical, social and cultural rights, and other important uh, international human rights standards. And I think that the, the huge potential and impact of human rights is that it changes people from within. It's not just changing what people do, 
It changes people's views, people's attitudes, people's behaviours and people's practice.